Hi everyone, it's Muriel. So I want it to be uh, again my hauls that I will be doing this afternoon. I went to four different craft places today, got it over with, got it out of my system. So the next time I leave the house will be Monday morning at 640. So this morning, typical morning, I'm laying in the bed at seven o'clock. The phone rings, it's my sister. She forgets that we're on a three hour time zone. So she calls and Hey girl, what you doing? I'm like, really? <laughs> I am in the bed. <laughs> so we got to talking about stuff. So then I was up and I remembered that I did want to go to the post office. So I mailed my daughter a package. I mailed um, some uh, packages to some subbies. And then I headed over to big, um, this place, um, Hobby Lobby. Hadn't been there for a while. And um, I knew that they had um, paper studio or yeah items 50% uh, off so I did want to go take advantage of that um, as I'm walking around Hobby Lobby because the way I shop at Hobby Lobby I like comb the place first I go up and down the aisles of the area of scrapbook area paper crafting area see what I think I may get and then I come back and pick it up well on my first little trek these three Martha Stewart um, on the edge punch were in a corner on sale for six dollars and eighty three cents and I couldn't believe it I grabbed three of them and I did leave some um, one the, the other the other ones uh, patterns I have already but I didn't have this one this is called the triple web and I was going to take these out and punch them and I may do it later but I just need to get this stuff put away so I can um, enjoy the Saturday so this is um, um, one of the punches and of course it has a spider web pattern and then this one here is the rounded leaf. I couldn't believe these are $19 uh, punches. And then this one here is the dotted diamonds. You can see the pattern there. And these cut out as small as 6 inches and as large as 12 inches. So you could use them on your cards or you can use them on your layouts. And if you use them on your cards, um, you can cut them in half. So remember that little tip. So I was happy when I um, got those. I saw a bunch of Tim Holtz dies, uh, but I just didn't see me using them, so I left them there. I did pick up some paper. I'm working on a project that required some um, music sheet paper, and I didn't have a lot, and I have different kinds. So I picked up several sheets of this pattern, and then I saw these, um, the turquoise blue, and I thought, wow. The project I'm working on I guess I'll kind of mix it up so these were 44 cents each and they were 50% off as well so I got I think it's either 10 or 13 of those and then um, you know me I am a sale girl so I went to the sale wall and I had uh, seen these little treasures from make a statement that looks like it's ribbon and this looks like it's a felt corner so that'll be interesting to figure out how I'm going to work with that here are some buttons. I thought those were pretty cool. This red one and this black with the lace. And then this is like a rosette. And yes, these are buttons. And I've been making a lot of pin cushions lately, so that kind of I came to mind. I have um, a beautiful piece of fabric. I'm not sure. I think I bought it at Hobby Lobby of music sheet paper. It looks like music sheet. So this is what, what um, came to mind when I picked that up. And I did get um, two of these. And these are only 72 cents. So I got two of these. I, I looked at this and, and it, I have a paper pad of this color. In my, I, I don't know which one it is, but I'm going to take it upstairs and go through my 6x6 six six pads. But um, I like that one. I love this beautiful leaf um, pattern, uh, embroidery um, pattern on there. So 72 cents, got two of those. And then this one here, beautiful. Look at the... Um, the beading in that center and this is like a real set and I guess you know it's, it's got a little damage but I can fix that I may even put a bigger real set over that so um, but I thought that was pretty cute and that was just a dollar eight cents and then I found these um, Soology uh, buttons these are pink and they got some glitter and shine to them they were two dollars and nine cents um, at Hobby Lobby when I um, 
go to the fabric area they have a clearance aisle in the back and there was a girl back there with two shopping carts full of stuff she poor thing she was trying to figure out where am I gonna put all this stuff at so when I came back it was a perfect opportunity for her to say oh hi okay I'll just let you you know look in the baskets look on the wall so she kind of took off so I was back there on my knees digging 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 and that's where I um, got this um, um, buttons from and um, there was some fabric there so I called my girlfriend and I was like there's this poly satin black fabric is this like satin satin or is this like cheesy shat satin and <laughs> so I was back there for a good 30 minutes and then I found this trim which is gold and pretty and it was 90 cents typically $2.99 and this is what I went to see if they had this type of trim 50% off but I think it was last week or it's going to be this week coming up so ah. okay and then another um, thing I got from the clearance wall was this um, note card set by Echo Park and um, I don't know why but I love the it looks wintery to me there's the cell phone blowing up it looks wintery. It's this beautiful blue and white polka dot, and then it has this big red polka dot, and then this yellow gold, and then this black polka dot. So, um, this may turn into some Christmas cards, or the envelopes at least. And then I bought some um, of this um, upholstery thread because when I make my pin cushions, this is good, and I have it in white, but I need it in black. And um, I got the alcohol inks. Like I said, I ordered some from. Um, Joann's ordered some more and then I had ordered some already but um, this has got the brown on it that I want to use for the leaves and then it's got this I don't know if that's a purple and then this mermaid color so I am going to be uh, molding making resin pieces definitely to give to um, subbies I already sent some out um, for Christmas because a lot of us don't do molds you know a lot of us don't want to buy the molds which I understand I totally understand but I happen to like doing stuff like that oh and then here's another one I purchased by make a statement it was a dollar eighty cents it has this cute skeleton face on here and this beautiful feather um, flower and then this bow looks like it's all um, you know it's been squished so I just need to figure out where the center is and maybe put something in the middle of it in but cute with the black and white um, Polka, black and white polka dot on the inside so I love these and you know I love them so much that I hoard them and I need to pull them out because I think using all three of these on a card or layout would just be perfect but I just need to do it and um, I saw the lovely Miss Laura hi Laura Laura is so sweet um, she was the chosen sacrificial lamb today that I text after each store that I shopped at because I was just having just a hard time with people and all that stuff so um, I'll tell you about that in the other video but anyway Laura had purchased these and um, this uh, was on sale paper studios it was $3.99 so um, it came out two dollars and I love the wide crochet lace and um, I got it because I want to start uh, working on a project with the um, burlap bags and I want to kind of cover them up and then put some um, it um, what are they called um, some more lace on top and some trims and so I thought I would start with these because they're kind of wide enough so I got two of these the only two cream that were left and then I found this cute little jar jewelry look at that it says hard it's like a big bottle cap that they bend piece of felt silver letters I thought that was really cute I have a lot of mason jars upstairs maybe four and I bought this because I want to um, make them look pretty even though I'm not using them right now but they're just boring naked so if I kind of make them pretty they'll be nice to look at and here is some more uh, trim I got uh, while I was down on the floor uh, this beautiful brown sequence um, which is so so pretty and it's stretchy so I picked that up I'm gonna say that was a dollar twenty and look Louisa I finally got some official um, sugar coating glitter to use on projects Louisa sent me an email and she said you may not want to use that crystallized sugar on your projects because it can draw ants and blah 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 and I was like oh okay so I found this it was um, a dollar three dollars and fifty nine cents and it is chunky glitter by doodlebug 
so can't wait to sprinkle that on some especially on this project that I'm working on I, I hope this just really brings out the pizzazz in it and then also while down on the floor on my knees I found this um, it's two yards of pink um, trim so it has the um, little what are those acrylic pieces that hang down and I love this board and there was a lot of trims on boards like this um, that someone else probably would have went crazy for but again I kind of thought this I was practical I would put this to use it was only two forty five some of them were seven dollars but I just didn't want that much and I just wasn't that attracted to it to buy it and share it with so, so so I didn't get it so I did get this piece here so I was happy with that and then um, I picked up these by Sizzik they are ornate labels which I don't have the punch like this which I love this punch so um, they're really really you can cut them out emboss them or use them as a stencil okay so there's a whole ton of them and this is what I use my 40% coupon for Hobby Lobby and the paper pads were 40% off, or 50% off, excuse me. And this is the only one that I found that, um, you know, that was interesting. It is by Kaiser Craft. It's called Kaleidoscope, and it is six and a half pad. So that's pretty interesting, um, not the typical six by six. Then um, inside it has a sheet where it has some cutouts, 24 or 28 die uh, cut elements, and you can see them there like labels, border trims, some more journaling tags, and then some images to cut out. So again, it's called Kaleidoscope. There are two, um, 12 by 12, two sheets of each, um, two of each 12 sheets. There we go, goodness. So if you haven't seen it, those are the cutouts there. Those are treated, those butterflies, you can tell, love this. So it's just a bunch of type words. Oh, good, it opens up. Okay. That has treatments on it. That page there. Those can be cut apart. Beautiful craft paper. I think when I saw this page, it made me think about those buttons. These buttons here. Yeah, I think that's going to be a, that's going to go together perfect. That's pretty. Music sheet, and it has treatments on it, meaning you can kind of see the gloss on it. Love that, like a bee, like a honeycomb. That's cute there. Oh, look at that beautiful black damask. That's pretty. And the bicycle. Oh, that's beautiful. That's gorgeous. That really looks cool with those flowers, with those buttons. So this is the um, Kaleida, uh, Kaiser Craft um, six and a half paper pad called Kaleidoscope. And again, they were 50% off. And then I picked up um, some Jingle Bells. They have so much Christmas stuff out, it's almost overwhelming. So this is the only thing I got before the project that I'm making. And I got them because um, these three have glitter on them and then these three don't. But they were 40% um, off and this was $2.99. And if you um, wouldn't mind, just drop me a line. I'm trying to figure out how you glitter the best adhesive to use for glittering uh, metal. So if you use... Um, you know any kind of uh, fabric glue or or um, glossy accents let me know um, the best way you have um, used um, glittered up metal pieces like this because I do want to put some um, glitter on the other three so and then I picked up these which looks very vintage these are some buttons a metallic buttons an assortment pack for 30 uh, that's uh, 32 pieces oh, gosh really and then lastly are these antique uh, box feet. So that was my Hobby Lobby haul, and I will be back with another haul from Tuesday morning. Bye now.